Well, good afternoon, folks. Dr. Charles Parker once again. This is the second of seven videos that we're going to be doing on that puzzling afternoon drop with stimulant medications. And the reason we're doing that is because each one of those can be treated differently. And if you don't really understand what each one of them uh, implies clinically, then what's going to happen is you're going to be treating the wrong problem with the wrong medication and encouraging, encouraging treatment failure. Now, we don't want treatment failure. Let's go ahead and avoid treatment failure by getting the diagnosis correct in the first place. That's what this is all about. Now, the first drop, this one, video number two, is based on cognitive dysfunction. So they were functioning well cognitively. They were doing well. They did well here, but then all of a sudden, they're cognitively out the window. That's mental as opposed to physical and emotional. We have to separate mental dopamine from physical and emotional serotonin. Key, key point. So if they drop out and they just can't do what they need to do and their executive functions out the window, executive function including acting without thinking, they're acting without thinking, are they thinking, thinking, thinking without acting, as in this video right here, which we'll reaffirm for you. And the third one is all of a sudden they're avoiding procrastinating and whatever. So many people don't treat the afternoon adequately. As a result, individuals fail and don't do as well as they should in school because everybody thinks that school is the only problem with attention deficit disorder. Well, executive function disorder, my friends, lasts 24 hours, and I think we need to think more in a functional level than a we're just going to fix the school situation and cross our fingers and hope it works out okay. We're not going to think that way. So in conclusion, I want you to think about the drop in the afternoon that has purely cognitive mental consequences. They were doing really well in about, until about two or three, and then something happened. What do you do? What does one do to treat that problem? They add a stimulant on in the afternoon. This is easy. This is not heavy duty. This isn't brain surgery. It is brain science. Give me a break. If the stimulants have worn off and the person needs to do their homework and they're avoiding homework, let's satisfactorily treat that cognitive drop in the afternoon with a little additional stimulant medication for the ones that only last eight hours or so. That's why I'm such a strong proponent of Vyvanse because a lot of times you can get 10 to 12 hours out of it and cover that afternoon dose without arguing about an afternoon medication. So stay with me on this folks. Number three is coming up and we'll get that one done probably next week as soon as we can. Thanks for paying attention. Thanks for being with me. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.